Mm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. We're still in the day cycle, and we're getting pretty close to the end of the game here. There's three sites to explore here. This one is very hard to explore because it's got all this water here. We had a very harsh landscape, actually. We had lots of swamps. This was really the way to go, but two people decided to go through these massive things. But they actually are doing the best. So if we look at the scoring, <laughs> the witch is actually the worst one, which is weird because I would have thought, like I felt like she was doing really well, but she's actually in last position and Wolfhawk is way out in front. So, and the second is uh, actually the dwarf. So even though this was really hard going, slogging through these swamps and everything, it's actually been better for those units. My point is we're running out of tiles. We've got like, oh, it tells us, we've got four trains in the stack. So we're getting pretty close. That means the city's going to come out soon. Now the city in this one is a shared location, like it's we don't you don't conquer it. So that means that you'd be able to buy city units. We haven't got any city units yet. We haven't even we haven't even got a single. I guess there's only four. Yeah, we haven't got a single gold tile yet. Yeah. So Norway's. I keep ragging on Norway's, but he's not doing that bad. He's not coming last anyway. I keep ragging on him that he's not having very efficient turns. I think it might be time to start sending people backwards. You know, there's a lot of stuff about, a lot of points about to turn up because once the city tiles come out, the dragons come out and the dragons are like worth 10 each or something. So it's just that it's going to be hard to get to these things. If Wolfhawk can get into this spot and explore here, Whatever that is in that tile is his and his alone, or hers alone, because no one else will be able to reach it. It might be time to start going backwards, you know what I mean? And just start taking locations, like taking this, for example. Sure, the spell's all right. Yes, we love artifacts, but the actual reason to take this site would be to get the XP from those two items. City token, get a castle token, and the XP from that would actually be more valuable than the items you receive. Same with this one here. And we're, we're at the stage where we can start taking dragging hits because we've all everyone's got their three armor now. So three or four armor is really good. Three armor means someone can hit you for seven and you still only take three wounds. So that usually negates most dragons and stuff. Still, first we're going to start with Wolfhawk. Now, basically, what would be good if we can go five, that's a swamp, six, seven, eight, and that would provoke the ironclads and kill him. And we should be able to do that. If I remember, we have a bolt in our hand. Here we are. Fire bolt is in our hand. So that's attack fire, fire range attack three. Now, we do have Book of Wisdom, which is the best throwaway card in the game, I believe. And I do hate improvisation. I'd love to get rid of that. Thing is, oh, Blood of the Ancients. Now, this is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. It just costs a wound. It costs like nothing, especially if you're like me and you generate healing in your characters. And for that one wound, you can gain cards, you can play cards for free straight off the action offer, you know, and I include the monastery offer as the action offer. I mean, this is just an awesome card. I think he's a... She's about to level up one, two, three, four. So this guy is four. So if we kill this guy, we will level up and we'll be able to take ancient. So there's no need to throw away with Book of Wisdom right yet. So what we're going to try and do, we're definitely going to move into here. We're going to try and move into here. So we need five, six, seven, eight. Well, maybe I should take the dungeon. Ooh, that's a point. Maybe I should just go straight to the dungeon. And I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to go, I'm just going to level up straight away. So we need five move. Well, this thing here will kill it. Okay, we know that'll kill it. Uh, there's no red mana. We've got a red crystal. Just for now, I'm going to put concentration here. So concentration earns a red token and fire attack, range attack three. So that kills the mob. And that's because this guy, he has got resistance, but only to physical. So we only need to hit him for three. So range attack three with fire kills this guy outright. Now we just need to get there. 
we have five. Oops. Okay, what's going on here? We have five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So we have two things going on here. We can either go five, six, seven, eight, and kill this guy, or we can go five, six, seven, and claim this dungeon. And the dungeons do actually advance the win condition. So, you know, that might be what we should do. So if we went four, five, six, seven, that would go uh, five, six, seven into there. Now we are moving away, not in front of that guy. So we don't provoke him. And we keep these three cards in our hand. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Uh, it would have been nice to level up. I actually would have gotten a skill and a card. I would have gotten Blood of the Ancients. Yeah, this is a hard choice. You know what? I, stuff it. I'm going to do what I was originally going to do. So we're going to go... Bam. Bam. And bam. That's five, six, seven, eight, and then range attack three with fire. So we go five, six, seven, eight. This guy attacks. We then range attack him for th range attack three with fire, which kills him. And that is one dead dude, and we level up. Okay, so we don't have any wounds to get rid of. Let me just check my discard pile, because uh, Glades Lady, they do the discard pile. That's fine. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We have leveled up. Uh, I'm going to take Blood of the Ancients because I love that card. And I'm going to take a second heal. Nice. And we're good. Okay, it is now Norwaz's turn. He has a wound. He has, I hate the, ooh, he's got a throwaway as well. Is there any red cards up here? We do have decompose, so I think I am going to do this. Take decompose. So this card allows you to put it straight into your hand if you pay with the green mana. Uh, let's do this and this. When you play this card, throw away an action card of your hand, gain two crystals to your inventory of the same color. Let's put out two blues. And I'm going to spend two move. I have two move automatically because of this skill and these two guys being untapped. So two move, I'm just going to go explore. Oof. Let's have a look at this guy. 14 to kill or seven ice attack. And nine, so that's three wounds, which isn't too bad. The 14 to kill is the issue here. We also have a maze. Now, he does have a lot of movement he can create. It's three to get in there. If he didn't have this, he could probably get in there. Okay, so that's going to be our turn. Let's just end it there. Basically, we've just used training to discard improvisation, which is a card I hate, to gain decompose. And then we discarded Crystallize to get two uh, tokens. So as you can see here, when you play this card, throw away an action card from your hand, gain two crystals to your adventure that are the same color as a thrown away card. Okay, let's end that turn. Your blammo. Rewards claimed. Okay, we've got a heal at least. Okay, come on, the witch. You're my favorite. What you got for us? We've got some moves. We've got some blocks. Oh, well, let's, let's destroy this. Let's destroy this. Uh, can we do this? How much attack have we got? We've got attack six, and we've got fire attack five. That's not too bad. We do have a block. It's an ice block, that's important. And we've got some move we don't need. Okay, I think, uh, what's the mana situation? We've got whites, okay, this isn't a problem. 
let's attack this monastery. Ooh, six attack that gives us four wounds. That gives us two wounds, beg your pardon. And then we only need to hit back for five. So this is really easy. So I'm just going to do my normal thing. I'm going to take two wounds, one, two. And then I'm just going to bam. I'm going to use this skill, Invocation. So we discard a wound to get a red mana. So I'm going to pay that with a red mana. And we, oh wait, that's a fire attack. But it creates normal attack four. And then I'm just going to go boom, five, like so. So this skill here allows me to discard a wound, not throw away, but just discard and I gain a red or a black mana token, which is just crazy. <laughs> so basically I've created four, five base attack, and I only need five base attack to kill this guy. So he is dead. So that is the end of that, bam. And we get a conquest reward, which in this case is an artifact. Your blammo. What have we got here? Ooh, siege attack five. Wow, that's pretty good. We also have the heal, which is also very good. But I'm gonna take the siege attack and that's that. And now it is the dwarf's turn. He has block seven. Oh, he's definitely gonna move in there. I should have really moved in there. So. He's got no move in his hands. Okay, so he's going to use this and he's going to use refreshing bath or whatever it is. That's going to give him a token and a heal. He needs two movement. I guess he's just going to go one, two. Bam. So this action here allows us to use a token from another player, use a skill of another player, and that's that. So I'll just flip that over to remind me I can't use it. And it's the end turn. Hmm, let me think. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's keep, let's keep this in hand, and let's discard wins. So we've basically done the same thing, except we've used wins to go one spot. And then I'm gonna use my tactic. So this is lets me do two turns in a row. So I'm just gonna use my tactic. Reclaim rewards, bam. Right. So we have white and blue. Okay, this is a pretty good turn. So I'm now gonna attack whatever's in here. What have we got? It's just a Medusa. Nice and simple. It does have a rather annoying petrify, but we've got a shield, block seven, bam, that's the end of that. So now we only need to track back for four. So I'm just gonna go attack two, three, four, and that kills him. So attack two, you can increase the attack by one if we get wounds, we didn't get any wounds. So that's attack two, three, four, that kills the Medusa and block seven, blocks the six, six attack. And I think I'm also gonna discard this and gain another white crystal. Oh wait, I don't even need to do that, do I? Hang on. Because I have two attack here, but permanent two attack from swordsmanship. So that is four attack already. Maybe I should keep that. What's going on here? What's going on? The token disappeared. There we are. <laughs> I took I took him off. I took him off there, and the token disappeared. Went back to the pool. Yeah, maybe I'll keep Swift Bolt just in case there's something. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep Swift Swift Bolt. Swift Bolt. <laughs> beg your pardon. Okay, so to recap, I attacked the dungeon. I did block seven. That blocks that. I then did attack two plus two kills him. That's the end of the turn. Bam.
quest rewards. Let's uh, just roll away your blemo. It is an uh, artifact. Your bonk. Oh, circle of proficiency. Now that is a good skill, particularly if you're playing four people. This is the kind of skill that doesn't really work much unless you're playing with a lot of, or you know, four characters. The during staff is also very good, but so you need you need hand you need a large hand size for it. But circle of proficiency basically allows you to use any non-interactive skill in the common skill area, and if the skill is usable each turn, as in it doesn't flip over, you get to use its effect twice. So check out this skill here. Look at this. This is plus one to ranged or sieged and plus two to attack. If I use circle of proficiency, doesn't cost any mana, just whack it down. I can get plus four attack or I can get plus two siege attack. That is bonkers. Same for this thing here. All right, I can get plus four defense. So that is a crazy good card. Okay, uh, yep, that's the end of that. Rewards claimed. Okay, we're back to wolf work. So we're back at the second round. Now, what has she got here? So we're gonna go four move. That was a blue. I don't know why it went all wonky. So that's four move. We want three, four, five. That's eight move. So we've just done eight moves. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's the city. Oh, look at that. More. <laughs> look at that. It's completely walled off. We can't get in there unless we can get past lakes. Uh, we do have to place a secret tomb down here. Now, she's actually got a way to walk past lakes. Oh, here it is up here. Travel through lakes. What's this one? One of the people can travel through lakes. I think it might be Wolf Hawk. We produced eight, right? So we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's explore again. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I can do? I could take a wound, which I then heal with this thing. Pay a mana of any color, gain a card of that color from the advanced action offer. Claim Songs of Wind into my hand and then just play it like so. Okay. Now, some of you may be asking why I do my moves like that. It's just something that me and my friends play to make the game more fun. Basically, if you reveal, the way we play it is that you can jigger your movement as much as you want before or after revealing. Like, like technically in the rules, you have to pay all your movement even before you reveal a tile. But using my own custom rule that we play, basically as long as you finish in the same result. So if you reveal a tile, you have to reveal that tile that turn no matter what. But you can jigger around your turn and play cards until you finish your movement phase and adjust your movement. It just makes the game flow a little easier and gives me more enjoyable turns. And it's something I play, but technically I can't do this, what I'm doing now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so again, we did Blood of Ancients, gain a card of that color from the advanced action of it and put it into our hands. We got Songs of Wind. We, th we got a wound, right? This is the wound here, but we used this ability to gain a crystal and heal. So that is getting chucked away. And then we used a white crystal to pay for songs of wind. So it's move two, the move cost of plains and deserts and wastelands is reduced by two to a minimum of zero. You may pay a blue mana to be able to travel through lakes for a cost of zero this turn. So we have produced a total of, big pardon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we still have all these two, two influences that we could use. So that is 
one, two. Why oh, is it a move of two to go through lakes, is it? I may pay, ah, oh, you may pay a blue mana to be able to travel through the lakes. Oh, no. Well, I could do this. So that means we've done one, two, three, four. We'll do it like this. One, two, six, seven, eight move we've produced eight move so that's one two <laughs> i keep forgetting move cost of zero that's one two three uh three let's explore here as well really screw up everyone else oh this is juicy 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 so that is one two to explore three three Four, five, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the, I'm just gonna go here. So let me recap. I've gone. Let's do this in order now. I did Blood of Agents and I gained this to my hand and then I got a crystal and I discarded this. I then did Song of Wind, that gave me two movement points. Then I used the gold crystal from the glade to give me another four. So I did, I've, got, I've now got six movement points. That's one, two to reveal, three, three, one, two. So I've used four, five, six. And all these I can keep in my hand. Thing is, these are safe. No one can get there except for Wolfhawk. So what if I went, this also gives us movement for Deserts minus two. So the Deserts are three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That would give us 13 move we'd need so that's four five six seven eight actually we'd do it this way wouldn't we i keep forgetting tirelessness move four each other card providing move including sideways gains plus one so that is four five six seven Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 move. So to recap, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We actually did fifteen move. Whatever. That's it. Okay, so that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Okay, this is me from the future. Basically, uh, while I was editing, I realized I really screwed up this turn. This is a great example of what goes wrong when I'm uh, trying to commentate instead of play. So, okay, I've just moved that guy and the script broke, whatever. The point is we were actually started on this glade. So we actually needed one, two, three, and then we revealed this, right? So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 move. I'm pretty sure that is. Let me just do that again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, if, let's have a quick look at our... Oh, and we also needed another crystal. So basically... Let's have a look at our movement and how much movement we could actually, I'm gonna to have to use this one. 
as well. Actually produce. We would also, to gain this card, we would also need to spend another crystal on Blood of the Ancients because it's pay a mana of any color, gain a card of that color. So we'd also have to spend another white crystal. So th that's basically our move and we're gonna have to spend another white crystal here, I guess. So that becomes four move, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Because remember, this one's giving us plus one on every card that we play. So that is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So luckily, we just basically the same move, except we also discard chill and we also discard two white crystals basically does the same thing we just did because it was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen to reveal and that my friends is that turn fixed so for my save game i just need to discard this and discard both these crystals. Because we use one for Blood of the Ancients and we use one to power the move. So that should fix it. Let's uh, save that and get back into it. Wow, that is a great move. Bam. <laughs> Ooh, gonna be end of turn soon. I might just play to the end of the turn since uh, she might be declaring. Oh, she won't declare because she'll just crystallize. Whatever. The point is, it is now Norwez's go. He has the one wound in hand. He's still got no move. Oh, he's got the two move here, doesn't he? Let's go. I need three move to get in there. Well, we'll definitely rejuvenate. We will go one, two, three. Puts us here. Okay, so we need four fire attack or we need eight attack physical and we have to block four points. We can't do that this turn, but we might be able to do it next turn. Okay, so that's that. That's his turn. And turn, you blammo. And we draw. What have you got here? Ooh, we've got six attack, plus the move we need, plus we have the block. And ice block it is too. Oh, it's block four anyway. So that's a pretty good hand for him. He could take out this guy. Oh, but if he ooh, but if he moves into here, he aggro's this dragon. I didn't think of that. He needs 14 to kill that guy. There's no way he'll be able to produce 14 because he's had really bad level ups. So instead, I'm going to go I produce 3 to get in here, right? So I will just go one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the end of his turn. Oh, we've got to place a secret dungeon. Bam. Oh, wait, hang on. That's a village. How do I get rid of this secret tomb? There we are. Okay. Now it is the witch's turn. What has she got? 
We've got Siege Attack. We've still got this horrible card I hate. We've got Block. So we've got pretty good stuff here. We do have an Ice Block. What's this Dragon? Fire Block. So, uh, can we produce 14 Attack? That's the question. I don't think so. We can produce three. What's this thing do? Cloak of Shielding. No. So we can produce three, five, five attack. Oh, we've got this thing. You may add up to five siege attack for each thing you roll. Okay, so that can do 10 siege attack. Okay. We, we need 14 to kill this guy. Okay, so let's do this. We need three to move in here. So that is three to move in. That's four and one is three to move in. Oh wait, that's a swamp. It's four to move in. Uh, that's four to move in. Let's see if I can do this. Four to move in. We can attack this guy across the wall. Now he is fortified, but it doesn't matter. This produces siege attack. So we go five plus five die. Oh, wait, then we go. Okay, so we discard shield bash, right? So this is being discarded and that gets us a white mana. Bam. Oh, why did I want a white mana? Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> that gets us a white mana. Then I do illusionist. Oh, target unfortified enemy. Uh, that'll give us two wounds. That'll give us three wounds. That means we can only get two wounds from the horn. Otherwise, you get knocked out. Should I risk it? Hmm, I'd really want to kill this guy. But yeah, target unfortified enemy is not good. So, what if we went one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six? So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. I almost could get that dragon. I, I mean, I could have killed him if I just, uh, if I, if, if that wall wasn't there. Okay. It's now the dwarf's turn. Oh, he has got a fantastic hand. And I think he is on a dungeon. Nope, he is not on a dungeon. Wow, look at all this desert. Lucky it's nighttime soon. Oh, we can kill this guy. He's basically six armor. We only need three to block. You know, he does one wound, so we don't really care about this. Uh, this is a little thing for the mod. Basically, in dungeon mode, you can't re-enter dungeons. So it's still got the attack symbol to re-attack that same dungeon, but you can't do that. There needs to be a flag in the coding that says, nope if you're going to automate that. Ugh. So we can attack this guy. Let's move into here. So we need three movement. Do we have three movement? Yep. One, two, three. That aggroes this bloke. And we need to create six attack. So we'll take one wound 
And then we need six attack. So we'll just go four plus this is five, six. So that is him dead. Okay, we've got some healing herbs. But more importantly, we are on the glade now. So this can be discarded. Uh, how many cards have we got in line? We've got five cards. I'm actually going to discard Peaceful Moment as well. And bam. Okay, we're back to Wolfhawk. That means that is the end of this turn. I'm just thinking we're right at the end. There's like an, well, there's another two turns to go because she's not going to declare end of turn here because she can gain a crystal at least. So, yep. I will see you guys next time. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, the death dragon, the vampire dragon. I love this dragon. Look at that. 16 if you don't block, but it's just a normal block. He's just a cool, but he's got vampiric, right? So his armor goes up for every wound you take. He's just the cool, one of the coolest dragons in the whole game. <laughs> oh man, I love this game. I'm starting to get the hang of this mod too, you know? I mean, I mean I've been a bit harsh on it, I think. You know, I think it's because I made the mod, my other mod the way I like to play and it's sort of jarring to play differently. But the truth is this mod is dope. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of getting used to. There are things that I would do to improve it, but even so, it's, it's pretty dope. Let's just see, just for fun, let's just see... Uh, what would have happened if I'd rolled those five die? Ah, I would. Uh, I got two wounds, two blacks. That their wounds. That means I would have been knocked out if I tried to kill that dragon. Okay, that's that. I will see you guys.